Used nuclear fuel is a solid material. It is in the form of ceramic pellets which are contained in bundles made of the corrosion-resistant metal zircaloy. Before they are moved, the fuel bundles will be put in steel tube assemblies, which, in turn, will be contained in massive containers to provide thermal shielding and protection against impact in case of an accident. This package, or cask, currently licensed in Canada to transport used nuclear fuel, consists of a solid stainless steel box with walls nearly 30 centimeters thick, a lid attached by 32 bolts, and an impact limiter. When it is loaded with four metric tons of used fuel, or 192 bundles, the overall package weighs 35 tons. All transportation packages for radioactive materials must meet a set of performance standards developed, reviewed, and updated regularly by the International Atomic Energy Agency, and in Canada, adopted and enforced by the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission. They are put through a series of tests to ensure they can survive severe accident conditions with no release of radiation. Tests include dropping the containers onto a hard surface, subjecting them to an intense, fully engulfing fire, and submerging them underwater. Well beyond the scope of these regulatory requirements, over the years, nuclear waste transportation containers have been subjected to a number of extreme demonstration trials. For example, an independent test in 1984 by the Central Electricity Generating Board in the United Kingdom showed that a cask designed to meet International Atomic Energy Agency requirements could successfully withstand the forces of being rammed by a locomotive traveling at 160 kilometers per hour. As you can see, after being hit, the cask remains intact with only superficial scarring. In 1999, the German Federal Institute for Materials Research and Testing examined the impact of an explosion next to a used fuel transportation cask. A propane-filled rail tank car in close proximity to a used fuel cask was set on fire. The exploding rail car directly hit and overturned the cask, which embedded itself into the ground about 10 meters away. As in all other tests, the transportation cask survived intact and prevented any release of its contents. These extreme demonstrations clearly show the robustness of packages which have been designed to move used nuclear fuel safely without releasing radiation under even the most severe plausible conditions. <laughs>